February 1929, somewhere in Central Asia. Oh, hello. Nice animation. We're on a train. What's happening? Looks like a skeleton guy. Nubus looking head thing. Young man. Is everything all right, young man? You seem agitated. Are you not enjoying yourself? Oh, yes. Yes, certainly. It is a lovely party indeed. It is, isn't it? Such delightful costumes and the music. Exquisite. Okay, so not monsters. It's a costume party. Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Lila. I'm Carlo. Pleased to meet you. Um... Sweetie, what is wrong? I can tell you... I can tell there's definitely something on your mind. Are you looking for somebody? Oh no, it's just that, um... I know it must sound peculiar, but... I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. Somebody's been drinking too much. What do you mean? Surely you must remember something. Why is it so small on my screen? Well, I was at this hotel in Rome. That I do remember. Rome. What a beautiful city. Were you on vacation? In a way, I was there to meet with my paramour. I was waiting for him to arrive. The Silent Room. Also, why is the game not like, you know, full screen? Why is there black borders on my monitor? Ah, beautiful Rome. So glad to see you again. I keep bumping into my mic. Let's move that away a little bit. Still as majestic as decadence. Sorry, I gotta mess with my mic. It'll make some noise. And of course, as loud as ever. Oh well. I'll sleep when I'm back in Turin, I guess. What time did Patrick say he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram around here somewhere. That was a weird moonwalk. Ah, here it is. My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Please check in at the Grand Roma. Everything taken care of. We'll be there around noon. Love, P. Can I click through it? He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Oh my. This is going to be rough. Aha. I have a cursor now. Can't click through it. Am I supposed to click on things? Or am I waiting for that text to advance? Click on this. I'm clicking all the things. Oh, 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 I was supposed to choose one. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. I didn't realize I was supposed to pick one. Be still, my beating heart. Whoops. Didn't see what the other option was. I didn't remember what it was. I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror. Make sure I look presentable. Okay. So wait for me to do that? No. And also check if room service delivered the, fl the flowers I ordered. Everything needs to be perfect. Okay, I can click to advance the text. Good to know. Oh, mirror, 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 bathroom. Guess we gotta, like, move to the bathroom? Okay, we kind of move around slowly. Low. Table. This very expensive glass table feels like it's missing something. Flowers. Oh, actually, I clicked something. Better not leave the room. Patrick should be here any minute now. Alright, uh, bar. No, we're looking for the, the bathroom mirror. Where is a aforementioned bathroom? Here it is. This is supposed to be a scary game, by the way. In case you didn't uh, catch that in the title. Mirror. You lucky handsome devil you. You really hit the jackpot this time. What if he is the one? The real one? Can you imagine? Having to tell mum and everything? Okay, you know what? We'll cross that bridge. When and if we ever get to it. For now. You look just dashing, young man. Fantastic. Let's go out here. Alright, now we need to like flowers. Check these flowers? No. Um, chest of drawers. We'll check that. Socks, underwear, a couple of shirts, and that Rolex Patrick gave me at the first party we met. I'm sure he would like me to wear it. Wow, the first party he meets, he gives you a Rolex? Wow. There, so fancy. Hey, nice to meet you, random stranger. Here, have a Rolex. Again, with this, sorry with the mic, it's... I'm recording from a different position than normal, and, uh... You know, it's a different chair. 
I've been, I've been, I'm doing something different where I, like I stream, or I record standing up for as long as I can. But when I get tired of standing, I s sit down in a different chair, and I normally record one. Getting used to it. Room service, one of the greatest inventions of humankind, which means moving the mic around, which means sometimes it's too close or too far away from my face. And right now it's too close, so I keep bumping it with my chin. Uh, secretary, thrilled to see me thrilled. Moving along. Hmm. Roman bust. This reminds me of that party. Actually, I don't remember that much about it. Just that there were togas involved. Patrick loves that whole Roman emperor aesthetic. He'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's part of the reason he lives here. Americana. Sigh. Radio. No? There's even a radio in this room. A radio. This place really has everything. Gonna go turn it on? Hmm. Wonder how this works. I think I better leave for Patrick. Wonder how it works. Oh no, what have I done? Quick, turn it off. Oh dear, what a relief. Guess I'm not too handy, huh? Flowers... It says something about flowers, I feel like there's flowers everywhere. Flowers, okay, here we go. These. Great, room service delivered. But I should move them somewhere else where they stand out a bit more. Lovely flowers. Just stuff them in the back of your shirt. Right here. Said it looked a bit bare, right? This, this is supposed to be a scary game, that's what I've been told. So, see how it turns out. Much better. And here's the card, just as I requested. It's my one and only. He's going to love it. Alright, let's move along. He should be here any minute now. Well, we did the two tasks we were given, right? Look, look at this again. Thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Got the flowers. Find a moment to give him the card. So we gotta find a card? What haven't I looked at? Point-and-click games like these are just, like, usually find the things to put the click on. Ah, this mic! Get out of my face! Sorry. Here we go. Like, to get my mic sounding right, I have to have it perf- like, the perfect distance. Not too close to face, not too far away. And, uh, well, we got it set too close to start the video. Sorry about that. I'm still bumping my face on. It's driving me nuts. Sorry. Maybe we should start the recording over, huh? Phone. Room service from the greatest invention of humankind. Bed. I'm so tired of my trip, I just want to take a nap. But Patrick should be here soon. Maybe we can call room service and have breakfast in bed. Now we call room service. Nope. Alright. What am I supposed to do here? Painting? You certainly can't buy good taste with money. Alright, um... Chest of drawers, nothing interesting among my socks. What am I looking for? What am I trying to do to progress the game here? Where's the scary stuff at? I was promised... Scary stuff. Check the bathroom. Uh, we got toilets. Been there, done that. Towels. I'm sure these towels cost more than what I make in a month. Wow. Bathtub. Well, well, well. If they're that expensive, how are you, like, living here? Or... I guess... Maybe, oh, this is his place. This is Patrick's room, probably. Or... Patrick's room at the hotel. Can I please have some progression to this game, please? Whiskey, gin, vermouth, amaretto, campari, of course. Yum. Is that limoncello? There we go. That's what we had to look at to get the thing going. Is that the phone? Wait, no. It's a door buzzer. Patrick! Okay, we had to look at the bar to get the thing going. Okay. Hello. This is Patrick? Carlo! Patrick, so happy to see you. Look at you. It's been too long. They even animated, like, the head moving, the mouth moving. I've missed you. Me too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. It was probably a lot of work to animate them moving like that. So how do you like this place? Like, the touching and hugging? You mean the room or the city? Both are quite excessive. The room. Pretty fancy, isn't it? Um, very much so. Especially that painting over the bed. Especially that bathtub. Let's the painting. The artist really gave it all. It's a sight to behold. Oh, this I must see with my own eyes. So I guess this isn't Patrick's place? This way, I presume? So Patrick just, like, rented the place for him? I don't know. Walk over here. Ha 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 ha! Oh god, I'm so sorry. You better be. You're not the one that who has to sleep with that over his head. Absolutely fair. I'll have them transfer you immediately. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, let's talk to Carlos. Patrick. 
Look at this amazing bed, though. So he's the one who set me up here. Wink, wink. What do you say? Would you rather get a drink? We should really make the most of that amazingly cooked bar I saw in the living room. Even if it's only in solidarity with my fellow Americans suffering under the grip of the Volstead Act. Are you serious? Not even noon yet. Oh, sure. Come right up. That's my bambino. Let's do this. I don't know what that word means. I've heard it before. Don't know what it means. Sigh. Oh, man. That's not what he was looking for, huh? Get this man a drink. So one for Patrick, one for me. Pouring these out. Here you are, Patrick. Have yourself a fine martini. Or whatever that is. Salute. Cheers. Did this tie just move? He drank the whole thing. Oof. Man, cough. Have you seen there's a radio and everything? Did you try to find some music? They actually animated like the him drinking. The attention to detail is fantastic. Oh, it didn't cross my mind, but feel free it, but feel free to if you want. It did cross my mind. I did try. Don't mind if I do. The attention to detail is actually really good. There, isn't that nice? Oh, by the way, those flowers are for you. Yeah. Oh, they're absolutely lovely. And look, they come with a card. To my one and only. Deep breath. Charlie, Carlo, I need to tell you something. Aw, oh, he's breaking up with me. Want to sit down? I'm fine here, thanks. Look, Carlo, we can't keep doing this. I'm sorry. Why are you talking about moving me to a different suite? Are you serious, dumping me? Why? Don't you like me anymore? Oh, that's like the old-timey music. Whoa. Come on, Carlo. You know it's not that. I like you, but this doesn't mean that I... Look, you know just as well as I do that it wasn't meant to last. Don't play dumb now, please. I'm not playing dumb. I truly was starting to believe we were made for each other. And where exactly did you get that idea? Well, in your telegram, for example. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you the one playing dumb now? Here, let me get it from the other room and I'll show you. You're exhausting, Carlo. Oh, that's not a good sign. Being told you're exhausting is not a good sign. Let's grab this. I forgot what he even said. Here it is. Thrilled to see me what he said. Undisputable proof that he loves me. My shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me. That's what he was. Oh, man. Guess I should have paid more attention to my options when I read that, huh? Your shooting star, of course. Fleeting, a passing glimpse, and then gone. Is that how you justify it to yourself? I'm just some crazy adventure? Or did the deuce put the fear of God in you? Deuce? It's not that. And it has nothing to do with you. It's just wrong. I'm sorry, Carlo. Wrong? How can this be wrong? The only thing that's wrong is having to hide it. But things will get better one day. They have to. Look. I don't expect you to understand, but I have to read these articles, these medical journals. Carlo, there are doctors. They can help. They have this new therapy. I'm going to tell my wife everything. I know she'll support me. She and I will grow through this together, discreetly. I know we'll be stronger for it in the end. And you should think about it too. I read about this hospital near Turin in Caligno. Carlo, they can fix you. Patrick, no, not you, please. I'm speechless, such a coward. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Not you, please. After all we've shared, after all these moments together, sick, you really hate yourself so much that you think a doctor can cure you what you feel for me? Carlo, I can't feel anything for you. I have a wife. I have children. I'm a man. And this is what a man does. Patrick, I know you're scared. The future isn't looking good right now. Giving up seems like the easiest thing to do. But we don't need fixing, and you know it. This is not who you are. Oh, this is such a waste of time. Why did I think it was a good idea to tell you in person? I'm sorry, Carlo. But that's all I can give you. I need to go home now. Can you please call room service and order me a taxi cab? You really have some nerve calling yourself. Want a taxi cab? Call yourself. Okay, fine. 
ask for one at the reception desk then. Yeah, it's kind of odd, like... This is what I get for trying to make things easy on a loser like you. Whoa! Goodbye, Carlo. Go back to Turin. It's over. Guess some nerd you have calling me a loser. Why he gets nasty all of a sudden? What else would you call someone who keeps throwing his family's money away? Chasing who knows what or who. Seeking just one chance out between two legs. Calling you a loser is actually pretty forgiving. Dude, why is this guy being mean all of a sudden? Move away, Carl. I'm done with you. I'm not done with you. You heartless, nutty word. Oh! Man! That was a heck of a hit! Did we kill him? Oh, no. Okay, this is where the horror game aspect comes in, I think. Just got some scary game vibes there for a split second. Ooh, my. He's dead. Where's his head? It's a bloody mess. Oh, we're just... Oh, they're just oh, they're breathing. Am I supposed to click a button? Okay, yeah, I was. Let's wait for me to click. Alright. One second, I can turn my ears, my AC up. I'm back. Alright. Where were we? It's weird recording like these these long ones with no editing. It's almost like a stream. Oops, bump my mic. I'm kind of treating these long recordings like a stream. Ooh, for the more patient, disturbing viewers, Patrick. Oh god, Patrick. Oh god. Oh, what have I done? What do I do? Do I leave? I can't run out like this. I need to think. I need to think. I need to wash my face. It's a strange thing to do. After murdering a man. It feels like he's walking slower than normal. Phone's ringing. Better answer it. Why is your music? My car is... something. What happened? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. Need to wash my face. Need to calm down. I didn't read it fast enough. It, it advanced the text too quick. It said my car is something backwards. What it said I'll never know. Unless I, unless I watch it back. Wash my face. Hand basin. Wash the face. Oh. Whispers, that's creepy. Dude, the the attention to detail for all, like the washing. I think this is a free game on Steam too. There's also like a DLC you can buy. What am I gonna do? So much blood, so much blood. You're dead. It was me. It was me. Oh god, Patrick, I'm sorry. I never wanted this. But I can make it up to you. You'll see. Just you wait, Patrick. I'm coming home. What do you mean I'm coming home? What's this? Envelope. How'd that get there? It's an invitation. To what? To some kind of masked ball? Oh, this is how we end up on the train. RSVP not required. So this is supposed to be a mask? It slithers. What the? Oh my god. Carlos, no. And next thing you know, I'm here in this train with a drink in my hand. So this is like the afterlife. Somebody else is next to us. And now, this all feels unreal. Like a strange dream. Like I shouldn't really be here. She even locked a silent room. Oh dear, what a terrible experience that must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disoriented. Excuse me. I am so sorry to interrupt. Not at all. What is it, darling? Do you mind if I have if I take a seat? Of course not. Please, go ahead. Thank you so much. I've been looking all over my husband. I can't... But I cannot find him. I can't get over, like, the attention to detail. Even, like, the sitting animation they just did. So... Like, the amount of work. I am quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. And what does your husband look like, Mrs... Winterborn. Valerie Winterborn. My husband is Henry Winterborn. Surely you must know him from the papers? Not that it'll matter here. 
but I am confident that if he were around, I would have recognized him already. Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was... Ellipsis. This is embarrassing, but I... I'm not quite so sure right now. It's alright, dearie. What do you remember then? It was raining. Ah, another cutscene. The Slow Vanishing of Lady Winterborn. Ah. Another well-to-do person, I think. We're lying in bed. Do I need to click? I do. Very artistic game. Even brush I can't get over how much attention to detail they did on this animation. So much work this must have been. Even put the hair... Oh, wow. Kudos to the dev for all the hard work they put into this. Glass decanter with laudanum. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay. But there's not much left. No. Doesn't want to look at herself in the mirror. No light. It hurts. Interesting. Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Armoire. These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? Draped cloth. If I close my eyes, I can almost hear... Hear what? Music got louder when she said that. Picture frames. Did there used to be faces here? Interesting. Shh. Quiet now. Interesting. How long has it been raining? What day is this? What else can I look at? To the hallway. Outside? But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. She might not be all there. So I'm gathering. Ball of yarn. I barely saw that. Oh, it's Lord Sock's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime. But where is he? Maybe he got caught outside in the rain? It's hard to see anything from here. Look at the window again. I can't see anything. Maybe the servants have seen him. Do we go outside now? Yes. It's probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up just in case. With what? Armoire. Pitter patter footsteps as we walk over. What was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes. I just need a bit more rest. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Alright. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? Whoa. What was that? Envelope. They slid it under the door. I'll be going to take that then. A letter from Lord Cavendish. What could he possibly want? Did you see, like, the animation for, like, moving the dress, getting down? Incredible. Sorry, sorry for your loss. My most sincere condolences. Even animated her opening the envelope. What? Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the, ma did the maid bring this? Where is she? Tear it up. Okay. Hanging cloth. I... I can't remember. Some fading memory. Something not quite here. A dusty vase. Some moldy old book. A wine glass. Disturb the shadows? The housemaid should be here in her chambers. Let's go pay her a visit. What is this? I hear voices. I'm not surprised that you do, lady. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. Maybe uh, come back in like, you know, half an hour. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. Knock, knock, maybe? Need to find a way to listen to what they're saying. You eavesdropping, creepy. Can I use like the glass for it? Yeah. Door itself is probably too thick. 
But maybe. With the ornate glass, I can eavesdrop like a creep. Oh, the wall. Ah, perfect. Not since the conservatory incident. What about her laudanum consumption? Has it decreased at all? No, but she hasn't. She mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days. And I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and locked strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving, and rumors abound. Gasp. The display cabinet in the parlor. How dare they keep the key from me. I should burst into that room right now, but I'll deal with that tomorrow. I think I'll have my medicine now. Oh boy, I feel, I feel like they're trying to help you. Feels like it's, I feel like it feels like it's inside my head. Sorry, I can't talk today, apparently. Seems like most days I can't talk. Well, just mosey on along my way. Looks like a mask on the ground there. Cracked glass. I have no use for this anymore. Well. I've got a key to find. Draped cloth. A shadow. Just a shadow. A lot of shadows, huh? Inside my head. And soon I will be dead. I feel like this can be a trend with this game. Introduce a new character and see the story of how they died and end up on the train. Maybe I'll go to, maybe I'll go downstairs tomorrow. Right now I want to have my medicine. I thought the cabinet was downstairs. I'm sure the cat is just fine. I'm confused. I thought the I thought the cabinet was downstairs. I'm not trying to go downstairs, I'm trying to like click on this. Too dark. Alright, so maybe we're not supposed to go downstairs yet. Maybe we have to find the key first before we can before we can go downstairs, perhaps. Slowly I shall wander and walk over this way, perhaps. Back in my room, maybe? To bedroom? Maybe I have like a key in here. Picture frames. Faces there. Hanging cloth. Maybe I'm supposed to go in the room. I don't know. Ball of yarn. Draped cloth. Armoire. Tired right now. No light, it hurts. Maybe I don't go back in here. Maybe I do not. Maybe I do go in the door. I've heard enough. I'll have my medicine now. It's in the cabinet downstairs, but you won't let me go downstairs. Lamp to serve the shadows. So with point-and-click games, whenever you get stuck, just click everything. No use to say more. If you get stuck in a point-and-click game, just hover your mouse over everything and click everything you can find. Disturb the shadows. Dusty vase. Moldy old book. Cloth. Something not quite here. Memory. Can't remember. Anything else I missed? Window. Inside my head. Maybe it is inside my room. I feel like I should just be able to go downstairs to get the cabinet, right? Window. This morning, can't tell. Window. Ever stop. Shh. Oh, that's weird. Picture frames. Bed. Short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Maybe we have to try the medicine thing again? I don't know. I mean, to be fair, she's not all there, so maybe she won't uh, remember that she knows to go... Maybe she... I can't talk. Maybe she won't remember that she need, she needs to go downstairs until she... Wait, what? Oh, she drank it and... What the heck? What the crap? What just happened? This is what she sees when she's on her medicine. Everything's better when she takes her medicine book. My favorite bedside book. Proust a la recherche du temps perdu. Oh, at the research of... Perfect temps? Temperature? As soon as I read two pages, I start dozing off. My French is not what it used to be. Okay, so that means she starts dozing. Sleep is for the sick and feeble. Interesting. That's that's so cool. That, what a great animation. This game is extraordinary. How is this a free game? I guess the DLC is how they get you. Not get you, but like, you know, make their money. Which they deserve. They worked hard on this. Hmm. What shall I do today? I could play my heart for a bit. And maybe afterwards tea in the conservatory with a good book. Okay, let's play our harp. So she takes her laudanum and her mind, everything seems beautiful and wonderful and good. The effect drugs have on your brain. In reality, she's probably just like dozing off in a pile of her own drool in bed. Faint music. I click again and it stops, okay. 
The most wistful of melodies. Chimilart Nasni. Monsieur Sati was a true master of melancholy. But right now I'm in the mood for something more cheerful. So we try again. And play something more cheerful? Perhaps? Okay. The music's very faint. I feel like a sound control option would be good. Nope. Something more cheerful. There's a ball of yarn. There's cat hair all over the carpet as per usual. Sigh. Is there an option to control the volume? There is. That's much better. Perhaps too loud in my ears will be loud enough for you guys. It's so warm outside. I don't need anything else. It's not dark yet. I don't need to turn on the lamp. I already looked in the mirror, right? To the window. To the wall. You fill in the rest. He should be here any time now. If I catch him just when he is arriving, I can usually see his automobile from here. Some family pictures. These three over here are my favorites. Maman and I in Paris, February 1923. Maman and I in Vienna, April 1926. Maman and I in New York, October 1925. I remember I found some great records for my gramophone on these trips. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. Could you imagine living in a time where the peak of technology was a gramophone and you want to listen to music, you put something on the gramophone? <laughs> the Dark Ages, man. Painting. Henry protested at first about including Lord Sox in the portrait. But if I am a Winterborn, then so is he. What a lovely day. Out we go. Mum and Dad. Oh, how they hated posing for this. They think painting is out and that there is nothing as exciting as photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it's so lovely to have them here on the walls like old-fashioned aristocrats. Dear Grandpapa Beauvoises, he believed in me when nobody else did. My little cousins from Amiens. Amiens? I miss them so much. In French, L, N, S, and T letters are usually silent if they're the last letter in the word. Usually. The catalog from the auction in which the vase was acquired. A classic King Hua vase from the Ming period. Invaluable. Pretty sure I said that wrong. And one of the few pieces the family can still afford to keep. Wait. Can afford it. We're getting poor. It is not dark yet. So apparently uh, we're uh, running hard times financially. I hope Henry won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. Because of his business trips, we barely get any time together lately. If Henry makes it back in time, we should have a picnic in the garden. Well. My own personal pantheon. These figures have always been a huge inspiration to me. I just could not bring myself to leave them behind in France when I moved here. The plaque says, Eos, goddess of the dawn. Eos statue. M Nemes Nemosine statue? The plaque says, Nemosine, goddess of memory and words. Apollo statue. The plaque says, Apollo, god of music in the sun. If Henry makes it back in time, picnic. 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 Grandma Winterborn. I knew her in the last years of her life. A remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterborn. Never met him. And from what I know, all for the better. I reckon he was old-fashioned when it came to crossing class boundaries. So, did she marry up, or did she marry down, or she crossed boundaries? To parlor. I... I feel dizzy. Oh no. She's gonna fall. Why is I going downstairs anyway? I'm not sure now. Was I not going back to my room? I feel like she's going to die by falling down the stairs. I could be wrong. Maybe she won't die at all. I feel like she's probably going to die though, right? That's how... I'm pretty sure that's the gimmick of the game. Well, not gimmick, but like the theme of the game is like the train is like the afterlife. Uh, you, like the everybody on that train is dead, I'm guessing. And the game is all about seeing how they died. 
I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. Oh no. I thought it was supposed to be like a scary game though. Maybe like it takes a while to build up a scary game. To be fair, a lot of scary movies, like the f like the first third of the scary movie, isn't actually scary. It's just like character development. Well, let's go to bed, I guess. Oh, leaning over it, taking a deep breath. Trap inside her home. Open that window, get some fresh air. Envelope, huh? I can't get over how much work they put in these animations. Work of art. Is she asleep? Her one open eye looks weird. Lord Windsor. Now, what is this? Deepest condolences. Again. But there's more. I am aware of the dire situation of the Winterborn family. Rumors about that precious Ming vase, one of the few pieces not yet sold. Surviving on your fortune alone. They have no income. I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she has the key to the cabinet. Tears it up. Falls to the ground in pieces. Running low on laudanum. They could have just take it away from where she slept. I can't hear anything. Seems like the room is empty. Or maybe they are hiding from me. Whispering in the dark. How dare they? Yeah, this lady's, uh... Approaching the paranoid. Well, pounding laudanum day in, day out. I'll do that till you want it. Honestly, don't know. Have no clue what laudanum does. Why she look like... She looked like Tran... She looks like transparent. Am I tripping or does she look like see-through sometimes? Not so much now, but for a second back there, she ran the corner. I looked at her. She looked kind of like transparent, like she's a ghost. Can we go downstairs yet? Can't stop thinking about that outrageous letter. The family's Ming vase. You'll see what I think about that Ming vase. Oh no, you fool. Your family's on the brink of poverty. You have no money coming in. Your only money to keep things going is from selling these things. If you break this... Well, I guess you'll just have to get a job like the rest of the world, huh? You'll live. Is this the vase he was talking about? She's gonna break it. I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as valuable as a whole vase. Nope, that's not how it works. Putain de merde. Piece of, uh... S-H-I-T. <laughs> in French. I think... I think putain means peace. I definitely... I know du merde is a... Uh, I need to stop saying that. I'll get demonetized. Imagine getting demonetized in a language other than my own. That's twice I said that swear word. Uh, luckily, most of my audience doesn't know what it means. There's no medicine left in my room. There should be more downstairs. I've been trying to get you go down... I've been trying to get you go downstairs for a hot minute. I need to stop reading swear words in other languages. Demonetization. Welcome to the nation. Ah, finally. Time we go. Maybe this wasn't a scary game. Maybe I'm tripping. Bookshelf. Books and more books. Here's one and another. Uh, the... Thought Fear of Wind and Vertigo. I don't recognize this title. Where did this come from? When did this come from? What are the other two? A treaty on clocks. The unbearable jargon of the clockmaker. The prophets. Paradise. Poetry. What good has it ever done? You're just a bundle of joy, aren't you? Draped cloth. A faint ticking. Okay. Display cabinet. My medicine should be in the cabinet. But you need the key. There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. But I don't have the key, and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the thing open if I need to. Well, I thought it was like sturdy glass, though. My mess is here. I need to get into this thing. Dead flowers. There used to be flowers here. Armchair. Rest. Maybe later. Need my drugs first. Fireplace. Get the fireplace poker. Only ash. This is not the fire I seek. Interesting. 
Fireplace pokers. Hmm. That'll get the job done. Yes. This will work. How thick is this glass? Surely not that thick. They couldn't have... I doubt they made their glass that strong back in the day. That they could endure a fireplace poker, right? Apparently not. Ah. And everything's beautiful again. Love that transition. And the music change. This game is a work of art. It really is. Sadly, be Sadly, most people will be lost on because everybody wants ooh, insane, over-edited hype action. Glass inside glass, but not you and I. To be admired from afar and not touched. What a sad fate. If you're watching this far into the video, you're one of the rare few who enjoys the journey. Henry's favorite spot, after study, of course, as well as the destination. The perfect spot to read a book by the fire. A cat purring on your lap, the sound of logs crackling. No better way to spend those rainy English autumn afternoons. There's no fire to stir. The smell of fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtlest pleasures. When she gets her laudanum, the world becomes a beautiful place. And she's so cheery. There are some interesting books here. The Prophet's Paradise. Far afield a woman cried, I have killed him I loved, and from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. What is this? What is this book doing here? Okay. A treaty on clocks. One of those awfully boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Okay, she, okay, she still has the same opinions. Striking as they might look, decorative clocks such as those embedded within busts or statues lack precision and reliability. Such models exhibit an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. This is, of course, unacceptable. Well, of course, unacceptable. Without fear of wind and vertigo. And so you see this novel so tightly interwoven with sensations suddenly riven by bodiless chasms, as if the claim to portray vital fullness revealed the void beneath. Hmm, I'm not familiar with this author. Italian? Sounds very modern. Achievement locked. Bookworm. Table clock. Is a table clock in the shape of a bust. But it needs winding and the key is missing. To first floor. Record player. My gramophone. The peak of technology. Surely mankind will never advance beyond this. What could man possibly do to improve upon this modern... Marvel. I have so many memories attached to all these records. Especially the ones I brought back from my trips abroad with my man. It's a weird name. Which one shall I play first? Three Old Viennese Dances by Fritz, Fritz Kaiser. Such a delicate piece. She's dancing and it looks really weird. <laughs> okay. What should I play after this? Parigi, Parigi O Cara by Giuseppe Verdi. Hopefully these aren't copyrighted or anything like that. Otherwise we're screwed. Become a member now of the channel. Isn't it too dreamy? Support me to fight the demonetization demons of YouTube. It's easy. Just click the join button below. Different dance animation is cool. Love that old-timey music. Should I play for this? My New York by Mel Hallett and his orchestra. Do we get a third dance animation? We do. Oh, it's that classic one. Dum, da di dum, da di dum. <laughs> like, it's the whole classic where you like, kick your feet up behind you. It's fascinating how many different like, kind of dances have evolved over the years. It's always interesting. People are never content to just do the same dance. We've got to be creative. But this is not the way it happened. My trips with Muman, I need to remember. What else do we have to click around here? Sometimes I have to click the same things again. To first floor? To bedroom, to hallway, stay here. To bedroom. Shortcut it. I need to remember. Alright, what are we looking for? Picture frames. Pictures with a thousand words. These are some of my favorite family photographs. We already read this, right? Yeah. 
I really feel like listening to the records I brought back from these trips. I could do with a little walk down memory lane right now. I did listen to those records, so am I not supposed to be here? Henry protested at first about including Lord Sox in the portrait. Find my Winterborn Sozzi. What are these? I'm not sure the. Am I, am I not supposed to be here? Click, just click everything. Why is it taking so long? It's gonna get dark. Okay. Do not feel like playing right now. I do think I'd rather go downstairs and listen to my records. It really wants me to go downstairs and listen to my records. I just did that. I haven't seen Lord Sox in a while. So warm outside, I don't need anything else. Just click everything in here, just to make sure. What peculiar dreams I've been having lately. It is not dark yet. I don't need to turn on a lamp. My favorite bedside book, Prost's A la Recherche du Temps du Temps Perdu. Since I read two pages, I start doing this off. I already read that. Oh, I look just fine. I think we clicked everything here. Uh, check the hallway. Let's be thorough. Although odds are I probably need to do stuff downstairs. I miss you both. I shall go visit soon. Dear Grandpa, Pa, Bo, Vio, Voices. He believed me, nobody else did. My little cousins from Amiens. I miss them so much. My French teacher would be ashamed of how much I've let my French go. Oh, forgot it so quick. A Sotheby's catalog. That vase. It feels like it shouldn't be there. And there's something else missing, but I can't remember what. Oh, yeah, yeah. She broke this vase. Why is it back? And the, 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 the cup's gone, too. It's weird. I keep having this feeling that Henry's in his study, but I haven't heard his car arrive yet. Must be a deja vu. Deja vu, if you don't know, is French for uh, already seen. That's what it literally means, already seen. It's not dark yet. So that's why you say, oh, man, I just had deja vu. You're literally saying, man, I just had already seen. That's what you're saying. All right, well, I don't think this is where you need to be. Oh, deja vu, man. Oh, already seen, man. Goddess of the Dawn. Goddess of Memory and Words. God of Music in the Sun. Where could he be? Grandma Winterborn. Newer in the last years of her life. A remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterborn. I never met him. All for the better. Uh, yeah, we, we uh, read that already. Well, guess we weren't supposed to come up here, huh? I don't think we were. Maybe we were. I don't know. This game... Maybe this wasn't a scary game. Maybe I was mistaken. It kept saying I wanted to, it, it kept saying it wanted me to play the records. Maybe we gotta play the records again? Which one should I play first? Maybe later? Play this one. Just go through them all three of them again real quick. Don't listen to it very long, just play them. Such a delicate piece. What should I play after this? Uh, that one again, doesn't matter. It told me, it said it wanted me to come play them, so I'm playing them again. Well, I'm pretty sure I don't need to. Isn't it too dreamy? What should I play after this? My New York. Dum dee dum dee dum. Okay. But this is not the way it happened. Need to remember. My trips need to remember. So we clicked, like, we clicked everything upstairs. So it's gotta be some stuff around here we gotta click again. Smell fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtlest pleasures. Uh, the perk's about to read a book by the fire. Henry's favorite spot after study, of course. There's no fire to stir. A cat purring your laps. You read this. Glasses like glass. We read that. What's sad fate? We looked at the books already, I'm pretty sure. Check again real quick. I'm, I feel like I'm stuck. Oh, I just realized... Um, I right, click through this. I just realized there's a door th over to the right. To the foyer. I didn't notice that. Well, now we know. It sounds like the servants are talking in the foyer. But, not, but I do not need anything from them right now. And I should not eavesdrop. It is rude. Okay, maybe there's some other room. I didn't notice. Hmm. It's a bedroom to hallway. Stay here. Stay here. It said... Maybe later. We played these and said I need to, like, look... 
where to, I've, I've clicked everything in this room. The bedroom and the hallway, I clicked everything in there. What am I supposed to do? I'm stuck. Also, I, I thought this was supposed to be a scary game. Maybe I was wrong. Got, got, mi I misunderstood, uh, I think I, like, I looked at I looked at the tags on Steam and it said uh, like horror or whatever. Maybe that was a uh, miscategorization. Maybe it's just like a slow burn game that takes a while to get to it. Don't you know? It's weird. Henry is in his study. I need to find the study. Is there somewhere I can like else? Is there like an actual room somewhere I'm not clicking here? I'm not seeing. Is there a way in my bedroom that connects to another room? Probably not. I need to get to it. I need to get to his study. Go to the parlor. You think this would take me where I need to go? Where's his study? Why can't I just go through the foyer? Nothing to do out there. I'd rather listen to some music. It really wants me to come listen to the music. But like, I listen to the music and nothing happens. Right, let's go to the New York one first. Just want to turn that one off. It uh tells me what to do next. Scandalous. Oh, it said something different this time. What should I put after this? I'm listening to this already. This one? Maybe I can listen to- Maybe I need to listen to them in a specific order. Isn't it too dreamy? What should I put after this? New York again. What happens if I do this one, huh? Can I listen to it in a specific order? Is it a puzzle? She said- Dumb to dumb this time. I bet it is. You gotta listen to this. This is not the way it happened. Gotcha. My trips. My oh, I get it. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm supposed to listen to them in the order that they happened. If you look at the picture frames, it tells you. Somebody's been, like, screaming at the video for the last, like, five minutes. You dumb idiot. Look at the pictures. Uh, Paris, February. That'd be, like, the Vienna or whatever. 1923. No, no, Vienna's the second one. So, Paris, then Vienna, then New York. Okay. Paris, Vienna, New York. I get it now. I'm just dumb. I've been dumb all along. Alright, so, Paris, Vienna, New York. So, New York is last. Um... This is Vienna, so this is Paris, so one, two, three, so... This one first. Isn't it too dreamy? Yep, that's the first one. We should play after this. I'm not hearing the music, though. Oh, there's faint Viennese dances there. Oh, it took a second for it to get going, that's why. Now the Viennese dances, next will be New York. Such a delicate piece. There it is. And next, my New York. And that should be it. Listen to them in the proper order. You could have just like brute force trial narrated it, but. Got like the pictures. Dum, da dee dum, da dum. And that should be it. That is the way it happened. That is. That was, that was the proper order. Alright, fine. I'll just brute force it. We did. One, two, three. Um, we did one, two, three. So, we'll do... Alright, we did one, two, three. So we did one, two, three. Then we'll do one. We'll try this first. We shouldn't have to wait so long for the animation. You can click forward through the video to 20, fix, 20 figured out if you want to. Then we'll do this one. I didn't mean to click that. This one. Okay, come on. Alright. Is that it? No. Fine. Try it again. We'll do New York first. We'll do, re do reverse order. New York. Scandalous. Didn't mean to click that one, but whatever. I'm trying, so I, I try to click through text and I accidentally click the, the pieces. Too dreamy. What should I play after this? 
because uh, I keep trying to click through that text, but there's nothing to click through. This one, the Viennese. Getting tired of this puzzle, to be honest. Thought I solved it correctly. Dum da dee dum da dum. Is that it? Nope. It's only one more combination. This one, then this one, then this one. If it's not that, I don't know. I think I've tried every combination at this point. Scandalous. Viennese dances. This will be reverse order. Delicate piece. After this, and that's the last one. If it's not this, I don't know what else it could be. I've done, I think, every possible combination. Not the way it happened. I trust the on, I need to remember. I, I, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm about to end the video if I can't figure this out. To do out there, I'd rather listen to music. It really wants me to listen to music. With the bedroom. One more time, we'll look at these pictures. Be like, we read the dates out of order or something. Favorite family photographs. Paris, 23. Vienna, 26. Oh, New York's 25. Okay, I thought the numbers were in order. So it's New York, then Vienna. Paris, New York, Vienna. Paris, New York, Vienna. I just assume, I, I just assumed that I assume she read the dates in sequential order. She did not. So it's New York in the middle. Paris, New York, Vienna. Did I not try that combination? I guess not. I mean, that's like one of the few I didn't try. So this, this, Paris, New York, Vienna. So this one first. I'm just really stupid as all it is. Too dreamy? After this. I didn't mean to click that. God dang it. Didn't mean to click that. Normally you have to click to advance the text faster, but when it says, what should I play after this? You don't click to advance anything. It just automatically pops up the options and you actually click the text, so... Do it all over again! Annoying. Okay. Click it, carefully. Patience. Which one should I play first? Don't click anything. Wait. Just wait. It was... Paris, New York, Vienna. Paris, this one. Just wait, don't click anything. Be patient. Stop bumping your face in the mic. Isn't it too dreamy? Now we click. What should I play for this? New York. Maybe this is the one combination I didn't try. Scandalous. We wait. Click, wait. Last one. This should be it. Was this? Bone song. It's so grating. What on earth was that? Okay, there we 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 did it. Puzzle complete. That was an annoying puzzle. If I wasn't so stupid, it would have been an easy one and done thing. But well, I'm dumb. Maybe later. Right now, I feel a little a bit lightheaded. All right, let's go back up to uh, the room here, shall we? Mean to click the plaque, meant to walk along the way. Back to our bed. To rest our weary head. I'm really hoping we get some, like, scary horror stuff happening soon, otherwise, why did I play this? I mean, it is beautiful and artistic, but. Well, there's only so many, so many, so many things that people want to watch. I'm, in fact, feeling a bit indisposed. But something's not right here. The only reason people will want to watch will want to watch a point-and-click view of my channel as if it's a scary game, right? I don't feel like it's a very popular genre otherwise. I'm in fact feeling a bit indisposed, but something's not right here. Anything lo anything looking different? Not that I can see. Laudanum? Book? Your favorite book? A Laudanum mirror? Hmm. Okay. Lamp. Dark soon. Does feel colder all of a sudden. Maybe I'll need to put on something else later. My harp. Who did this? Oh, it's covered. Who covered your harp? Give me some... The shadow. It's... It's wrong. Ooh. 
spoopy. Our hair is all undone. Now we're back to this. It is slipping through my fingers. It's gone. But maybe I can, maybe I can sleep and dream of tomorrow. There's always music tomorrow. She wants to sleep? Go to bed. We've been stuck in this character for a while. Oh, just passes out with her legs draped off the side. That's not very comfortable. How'd you get to the other side? Another envelope, huh? Let me up. She looks like she's ready to fight. Ooh, she, yeah, she's she's raring to go. She looks like a she look doesn't she look transparent right now in the light? Does she see through? She's really giving the thing a good stare, huh? I need my medicine. Didn't even read it. Empty glass decanter. Empty. Downstairs. She's is she a go? I feel like she's a ghost. I feel like she's been a ghost this whole time, right? Maybe? Why is she... It seems like she's moving differently. Like she's hobbling. She like she pauses every step like she's hurt. Get that laudanum. Display cabinet. Ah, it's still here. Give him a fix. Bring me back to life. Right as rain. What's this? Ah, the letter in her pocket. Where did this come from? It is a letter from Lord Fitzroy. He is a friend of Henry's, if I, rec if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. Wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? So daring as to propose an arrangement for a mutual benefit. I dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man could dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real, or did somebody put opium tincture in my morning tea? This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would dare send something like this. You'd be surprised. I must find the housemaid. Provided this isn't some lark of hers, she should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. Okay. Need to drink water. One moment. It's been a lot of, a lot of talking today, a lot of reading. It's my th third recording of the day. About like three hours plus of talking so far today. Wears in the throat. It doesn't look like the maid is here. But I heard voices. That's definitely a ghost figure there, right? The music's getting eerie. Yeah, we're starting to get to the supernatural stuff here. The creepy music. We're starting to reach the scary game stuff. Clock. It seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at three o'clock. Maybe I can use that key to wind it? What key? Newspaper. Oh, it's the issue of Paris Soi that featured our wedding. Soir means night, right? Everybody, has, everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Beauvoisie uh, Jewelry Empire. Mademoiselle Valerie Beauvoisie to Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chetham Green. In a move seen as uncharacteristic for the socialite, whose friendships with avant-garde artists such as Germain Dulac or Fernand Leger are well known. She declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the loud rumors regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterbourne family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love, and that moving to the calm of the countryside will be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. Interesting. What do we click next? Main door? Umbrella stand. My umbrella is here, but Henry's is missing. He must have taken it with him. Main door. I'm not dressed to go outside. What's weird is my curtain is moving. My... The air conditioner's off. My door is closed, or my window's, like, wind shouldn't be blowing my curtains around, because all the windows are closed, except for... Oh, I do wish to read the article just once more. I can read this over and over. May your shock tape on learning of the engagement with the extravagant heiress of the Beauvoisie Julie Empire. Her to him. Uncharacteristic. 
declared her intention, green pastures, loud rumors, marriage of love, welcome change. It's the exact same thing. To conservatory, she can like want to read it again. So every time I try to go to the conservatory, she just reads this. She just reads this again and again. Well, same thing each time. No need to read that again. But yeah, my curtains are moving. Like the only air could come in would be if, like it's like it should be sealed off because that's what the AC blows out the air. How's how's air getting in to move my curtains? I uh, will have to investigate that after the. I'm sure it's just there's a crack or something. And it's really windy out or something maybe. Or maybe we are indeed playing a scary game, but the scary aspect is in real life. I'm supposed to like I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be checking the like why am I not reacting to this? Why am I not interacting with this at all? I was supposed to go to the foyer to check on the maid. It's chilly here. Oh, so she stands on it, she feels a chill. It's chilly here. Alright, well I guess Pretty sure we are dead. Obviously we saw a ghost of ourselves there, right? I don't really have anything to do upstairs. Well, what are you supposed to be doing? Still the same flowers from yesterday? Henry's favorite spot. Perfect spot to read a book. Cat in your lap. Wait, 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 wait. A cat purring on your lap, the sound of logs crackling, the faces, the voices in the fire? That's different. Well, the pokers is missing. Hmm. Well, yeah, when I think this happened. What happened here? And why is nobody taking care of this mess? You did this, you... Freaky lady. Uh, can't go to first floor. It is a table clock in the shape of a bust. But it needs winding, the key's missing. I need this key bookshelf. I do feel like we've been stuck here for a little too long. Like, go back to the train or give me a new character or something. Province Paradise. Uh, we read this. Just looking for something different to happen. Oh, yeah, we looked at the clock. Strikes the look. Uh, lack precision reliability. Average delay of seven minutes. Acceptable. So maybe we gotta do something with the number seven. Uh, we read this. Italian, modern. It's the number seven. Anything else I'm missing? Look at the window. No. Anything else we have to click? Can't go upstairs. I'm glad they, they're they not letting me go upstairs since I don't need to. That saves me time for things to look at. Music again? No music, okay. To the foyer. So it's something in the foyer. Remember the number seven? Something to do with the clock? You need a key for the bust. You need a key for the um, clock out here. I'm missing something. Hmm... Oh, she picked... Oh, she grabbed something. Let's see if this works. Uh, she can't reach. It's too tall. Can't reach the winding hole. Three o'clock it is, then. Hmm. So... Stuck at three o'clock. The key, no, but I'm not tall enough to wind it. Guess she'll have to stay this way. Get something to stand on. It's missing. Take it with him. Can I leave now? Nope. Just makes me read the article again. It's probably gonna like have different texts all this time. Seems the same. That yeah, seems the same. All right, maybe we can go back in here now that we have the key and use the key on the bust. The table clock. Tick tock. Welcome to the table clock. The winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Fantastic. Perfect, I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? I don't know. Seven? Hmm, I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, I mean, the, the clock over there says three o'clock, so let's put it also put it to three o'clock. That should be like three in the afternoon, so... Maybe, uh... That'd be like 15. World clock, world clock time. What time am I supposed to set it to? Read the book on the clocks again. Mm, 
lack precision and reliability. Average delay of 7 minutes when referenced against a classic long case clock. So, okay, so 307 or 253? Acceptable. So we'll try 307 or 257. 253, rather. Three oh seven. Nope. Okay. We'll try fifteen oh seven. In case it's you know three p.m. It would be three p.m. right? Fifteen oh seven. Nope. Try it again. We'll try two fifty three. Oops. That's not it. Oh, too late. I can't undo it. Zero, two, five, three. Aha! It's working again. The me mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. Fantastic. And is that the grandfather clock? Is it working too now? All right. Figured it out. It didn't take nearly as long as this puzzle. I don't think this record player puzzle is actually that difficult. I think I'm just stupid. Feels like it's actually pretty straightforward. I'm just kind of a big dummy. The clock is working again, just like... I... I'm not sure now. When was that? I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in. The clock chimed. He ran into the conservatory. What had the little rascal done? I cannot remember. Oh, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what's going on. Can I go here now? Yes. Oh, wow. I'm not gonna lie, um, I think the story with the first guy who murdered the guy was far more interesting than, uh, her story. Her story's not bad, but murder more interesting than, uh, I'm dopey on drugs? What's this? Oh, that's just, a. Uh, I thought this was a body on the ground. No, that's just like a, a statue on top of this thing here. The water looks so serene. I'm not sure this is a scary game. I'm tempted to, like, tab out and look to see if this is a scary game or not. It's, I'm starting to think it isn't. Ivy. This baby Ivy will soon start climbing the wall. Do you want that? Plants. Whoa. Okay, there's... A, this is like a memory? She used to tend the plants? Did I see something move there? Uh, yeah. No, not quite here, but there's a rustling of leaves somewhere. There's definitely some ghost, ghost stuff going on here. White flowers. Camellias are so delicate with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. Okay. Tea table and chairs. Hmm. Must have been my imagination. She's tripping. Bushes. At this point, we're just committed to checking out the game, huh? My goodness, so many bugs. This needs a trim. Flower pots. Is this a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. The azaleas look lovely today. I hear that word a lot. So many times I've sat on this bench and just let my my mind wander. Can't click through the text. Oh, because there's a person crying on the bench. I didn't even realize I was too busy reading the text to see the person on the bench. I saw her in the end, though. I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky to have my very own Sancta Sanctorum. It does seem like a thing of like, decadence and wealth here. Not that really... I don't really feel like I'd appreciate her having this myself. Shrubbery. This foliage is so thick. A tiger could hide here. She's talking to somebody. Running at something, huh? Tiger could hide here. Every time I, okay, I gotta wait for the animation again, huh? Memories. Or ghosts. Ivy... What am I doing in here? Anything else to click? I feel like we've looked at most of the stuff, right? Maybe it's time to leave. Can we go outside now? I'm not dressed to go outside. Aha, so we must get dressed. We can finally leave this place. I wonder what's going on with the train. I don't really have anything to do upstairs, except for get dressed. I'm far more interested about the train than what's going on here. I'm, I'm kind of over her story, to be honest. Look, 
kept her in your lap, the sound of the logs crackling, the faces, the voices in the fire. She's crazy. Favorite spot. Poker spot to read. Poker is missing. What happened here? Maybe I need to go back to the bookshelf. Poetry, perhaps, or the other one. Maybe the books are key to progression. Prophet's Paradise. A woman cried, a killed him that I loved, and jarred she poured blood with the flowers, whose petals are white in the snow, and whose hearts are pure gold. Aha! The flowers whose petals are whiter than snow, and whose hearts are pure gold. She poured blood on them. Okay, so... Now that we've read that, if we go back and look at those flowers again, something different will probably happen, right? I'm not sure where I could find blood or think blood like to pour on them, but... Maybe just reading the book and coming back, we'll, uh... It's all about those books, huh? Hearts, white with hearts of gold, these ones. Camellias are so delicate with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. Okay, so it's something to do with... We gotta do something to these white flowers here, these camellias. But... Do what? Pour blood on them. How? How do I pour blood on them? Oh, I get... I bet... Oh, I better just like click these in the right order. So she's here. She's scratching her head. Oh, I get it. It's... it's. I get it. Did I see something move there? I get it. We gotta click these in the right order. Ruffling of leaves somewhere. So we gotta click these in the right order. So first we click the shrubbery. I get it now. Click in the right order. She's, she's over there. Talking over there. She runs this way. Over there. There's something here stirring the leaves and suddenly a blur, a chase. The clinking sound of porcelain. That means she's over here now at the tea table and chairs. Aha! Uh-oh, what's she doing? She fell? She tripped? Yes. I get it now. Follow it in order. Here, a scream of pain. Red streaks. The knuckles white like snow. Hands so cold. So cold. Cold. I mean, it's blood on the white flowers. Nope, it's not it. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Pond? Aha, the pond. She's, wa she's washing off the blood. Gotcha. The, the water must be cold. Oh dear, no. We're figuring it out. Puzzle after puzzle. The water is no longer screaming. Then where is the sadness coming from? Uh, the bench, she was crying on the bench, right? The eyes looked weird there for a second. She starts to cry in a bit, yeah. It is stronger here. What is this sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. But those sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. In the water, I could have sworn I felt... Wait, what is that? Seems there's something at the bottom of the pond. Puzzle solved, I think. But I'm not reaching to that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. Uh, maybe the poker? Maybe the poker? Man, it's getting cold in my room again. I need to turn up that AC. I'm having a hard time getting the temperature right today. One second. I'm back. Need a poker, I think. They are quite dirty. I do not want to end up covered in suit either. It's a different text. Maybe we can find something else. I mean... The handle shouldn't be dirty. What else can I use to grab with? Do I have to go upstairs again? I'm not finding anything up there to help me drag the thing out of the water. Good. I'm really glad they're not letting us go back upstairs because that's a lot less things I have to click. Okay. Voices in the fire. She's crazy. I'm clicking through the ones I've already read. What can I use to... Not a book. Maybe it's not from over here? Anything in here? Ah, the umbrella. 
This should work. Aha. Uh -huh. It's all coming together. At least I'm starting to get in the zone puzzle-wise. I was really on the struggle bus for a while there earlier, wasn't I? Alright. Pond. There we go. Get in there and get it done. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my god. We finally... My lord, my dear lord. We finally reached the horror game element. <laughs> what happened to you? Who did this? Did anybody, did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? Oh, is that her? Is her cat? What is that? Help! I must find help. That's her cat, right? Lord Socks. Must find help. Okay, I'm not sure what I saw in the flashing. Like, eh. we're finally getting to the scary game elements. Took a while. Wait, is there? Did she just do an idle animation? No, wait. Are you gonna do an idle animation? <gasps> she does. Idle animation. It probably varies. Okay. Alright, so we're starting to get to the scary game aspect. There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Okay. What's she doing? Oh, she's crying. What does she read that makes her cry? Hello? Can anybody hear me? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? I think you're already there. But this is not the Paris Soir. It's the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chetham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. As the car in which he was riding rolled up towards the driveway of the Winterbourne Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, oh god, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. She drowned the cat. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, no. Henry, dead? This is absurd. He's here. He's, he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home. But he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me. That's it. He must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. Oh god. No, she needs to laud him again. Oh wow, she, like, she's, she's like... Music changed. She, like, the, it went back to, like, the jury world, but she still stayed in her, like, laudanum state. She didn't change back to, like, the different look. Um, I was gonna say... Um, it's a hoax. It has to be. It's it's very interesting that uh, they had like him die in a car accident. How many people died of car accidents back in like the twenties? I feel like they drove cars so slow back then that driving in car accidents wasn't really a thing. Or maybe it was. I don't know. I think dying in a car accident would be like rare back then, right? I mean, cars were a lot less safe then, but like the speed limit was like eight miles an hour, wasn't it? I don't know. Especially if you're like driving up to your home. Like, how fast are these guys driving that they died in their own driveway? Dodging the cat. But I bet she drowned that cat. Yeah, I kind of thought as I moved around, they looked like change with me. I bet she I bet she drowned that cat out of rage that it killed her, uh, that it, you know, it caused an accident that killed her, uh... She seems that, that level of crazy. She seems that level of crazy that she would drown a cat for running out and accidentally causing, it, causing an accident. The world's changing around her. Henry, study. It's all changing back. Henry, are you there? Henry? Henry? What have they done to you? He's not here. Oh, now she's back. We saw her footstep trails. Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while. But I'm here now. So sad. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left. I had such dreams, such terrible dreams. But I found you now. And I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. I think... I just need one more sip of my medicine. And then I'll come back for you and take you home. We are going to Paris, my love. I think the last sip of her medicine is going to kill her, right? And this is the and this wraps up the story. The music's gotten. Why are these on the ground? Amiens seems so far away now, flickering like a roll of film. It got dark so fast. Oh, it's the the vase is broken. Vase fragments. I wouldn't have saved anybody anyway. 
It would have seen, but anyway. You would have understand. You would have forgiven. Mom, Dad. I am barely here anymore. I think the reason she looked like a ghost. See-through. Is because she is. Yeah, she's... Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. Stand right here. You can... You can kind of see the picture through her. She is a ghost. She's been a ghost this whole time. It's becoming more visible and evid evident as you go along. She's already dead. No more sleep. No more dreaming. I can make it stop now. Where are we going? To the parlor. Oof, language. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. A roaring primal scream. A swirling, yawning void. A cold, watery grave. I can make it stop now. The slow walk. This is new. Where'd the flowers go? Envelope. Another one of those awful letters. No, it's an invitation. To a masked ball? How delightful. Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask, then. It's so beautiful. Now it shows, and now it shows her dead somewhere in here? Yep. Ah, she died from the laudanum overdose. There she is on the ground. Death by laudanum. No, wait, there's... Oh, that, is that a piece of glass with blood on it? Maybe she cut her... Ooh. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. But he must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? Cheap me locked, a slow vanishing. Interesting. I've been asking myself the same question. I'm sorry, and you are? Apologies. My name is Jordan Samuels. I'm a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train, or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have surely brought a coat with me, yet there seems to be no cloakroom anywhere. I have attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, they do not seem to be bothered by it. I cannot explain it, but I feel like I, we, should not be here. What do you mean by that, Doctor? Where else do you reckon you should be? I'm not sure you would even believe me if I had told you, ma'am. Oh, don't you worry about that, dear. If you only knew how much these old eyes have seen, I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Please, sir, I think we all wish to hear what you have to say. Oh, I for one most definitely do. Very well. I guess I should start at the beginning, then. I have been working late into the night. Yep, this is definitely the, the theme of the game. The Nameless Ritual. Each chapter is a different person and what happened to them before they died. Oh, now it's getting interesting. And through this incision here, we can observe that the pancreas shows signs of inflammation. This tells us that the patient likely suffered from... Dr. Samuels? Mm, alcoholism? Well, this surely indicates that... Excuse me, Dr. Hayward? Yes, Mr. Lowell? Why are you talking to the janitor? I was laughing. Now, now, boys, calm down. Dr. Samuels, you were saying... Alcoholism? Yes, from this first glance, we can infer that... He doesn't look like a doctor to me. Well, like a bunch of racists. Keep an eye on the scalpels, Dr. Hayward. Don't let stick us up. Could rob us blind and spear in the shadows. Oh my god. This is how people used to be, though. I'll bet he's stealing material from the inf infirmary. Yes, to sell it to whatever criminal illness he's in cahoots with. Check his pockets, Dr. Hayward. Some people are still like this. Some supplies have, in fact, gone missing lately. See, I knew it. Let's search him. Somebody hold him. Oh. The nightmares are getting worse. With every day of fasting, I have felt my will slipping further and further. But today marks the 33rd day. Tonight I can complete the ritual. I must carry out the final preparations. There's no time to lose. Those buffoons. Soon they'll know what I'm really capable of. Alright, so what are we doing here? You know, I think... I think there's probably like another... The... I saw like one of the reviews that said there's like two or three hours of gameplay. Um, I think we're gonna call it good here. Uh... 
Thank you so much for watching. If you liked that, please subscribe and check out some of my other stuff.